asked you before that press conference, I said, look, what can the Democrats, what will the Democrats do to impede economic growth now that they control the House? What, they are going to impede it, right? They, they are going to try to, Stuart, and yeah. what will happen is, of course, all tax measures have to start in the House and the Ways and Means Committee, uh, and fortunately, the, there is still sense left in the Senate, so anything would, would be stopped before it got there. But, Stuart, what we all have to do, I think, is engage in an educational process going back to basics and what supply-side economics really means. You cut taxes for average people, that means more economic growth. More economic growth means more revenue to the government. It, it's not a zero-sum game the way some of these Democrats oh. have been talking about Ed, it in the I, last 24 hours even. I, but I agree with you entirely, Ed, but you're not going to convince, uh, convince newly elected Democrats who now run the House that supply-side economic works. You will never convince a Democrat in this modern age that cutting taxes for anybody is a good idea, ever. Well, they, they will always put back the argument that, yes, we want to cut it for the middle class. Uh, of course, the problem is that everybody kind of below the middle class doesn't pay any income tax anyway. Uh, Stuart, we've just got a huge educational problem that we have to get to, to get to people all over the country. And that's, we, we've got such a great economy going so strongly right now that... In fact, I am at the moment grateful for divided, divided government well, so that at least we can stop bad things from happening. So the only way to stop bad things from happening is to rely on the Senate, Republican-run Senate. That's the only way you're going to stop it. Right, and, and to keep raising the flag and reminding people how the economy really works. Uh, it's, you know, we're 100 and, uh, what, 120 weeks away from the next presidential campaign, uh, oh. presidential election. Uh, that started the day after this election, and we've got to make sure that people understand the difference between the two ways forward. we got it. That's right, Ed. Uh, you are the founder of the Heritage Foundation, and we appreciate you being on the program always. Ed Fulner, thank you very much indeed, sir. You got it. Thank you, Stuart. Check out the